Ladies and gentlemen, Sidestrafe back with some more World of Tanks. And once again, starting things off with the Centurion Mark 1. I am, of course, working on getting to Tier 9 and getting the 7-1 model of the Centurion. But uh, for now, let's head into the city. There's only one piece of artillery. And this guy needs to watch his driving. I really wonder about people in this game and where they learn to drive or how they're actually driving their tank. What view mode? Are they driving like this? Are they driving, you know, in third person? Which is preferably what you want to do for ultimate control. You only really want to do this if you're, you know, engaging. But he doesn't want to go all the way forward. And I think we've got two heavies coming up from the rear. I'd like them to go forward because, again, we know the weaknesses of this tank. Really bad hull armor. Uh, I get ammo racked all the time in this thing, unfortunately. And all right. Oh, these guys are all just chilling here. All right, we have a T-34 on the right and we've got a medium coming in fast okay now see Churchill you're trying to use me as cover and that's not gonna happen what about this guy oh I was gonna grab him alright that's not happening well we're all lit now Let's see what are we dealing with you know what I actually think I'm gonna go down the middle line it's gonna take me a bit more time but um, I'm not going to get stuck here with all of these guys. So let's come around here. Hopefully we don't run into anybody. Uh, there's some fighting going on in the field. This is a more patient maneuver. It's going to take more time and I'm worried about getting hit from the front. But... Uh, if this works out, I could possibly flank a lot of expensive units. We'll see, though. What do we got here? All right. Oh, T-34. Is the only thing paying attention to me. KV-1S. Stay there, stay tracked. Oh, somebody took out. Where's that tank destroyer at? The track is what the heck? Artillery. The one piece of artillery in the game. Thankfully, it didn't do much damage on that. He's behind that. Armor. Let's uh, get closer to the buildings here so that we don't get completely destroyed by that arty. Oh, looks like some of their bigger tanks are out in the field there. I'm not even going to worry about the capture point. Let's go see if we can run into their base and kill things. There is a times three active, so doing damage is the way to go usually. Heavy and a light... They'll cap there. We'll just see if we can find anything. It looks like most of their forces are out in that field. If I have a shot at anything, I do, actually. Right their armor. However, we do have to uh, be careful because I don't know where the SU-8 is. He might go into TD mode. There he is. Hey, buddy. Where did I just see him? I'm sure he hears me tearing through all this stuff now. Stop moving around. Just, just make this easy on yourself. <laughs> I 
No, a survivor. All right, well, I guess I'll take that. Nothing amazing. I was a higher tier in that one, so that's the uh, point range that I would expect from that. All right, so as you can see, we got all these times three uh, bonuses active. I think I'm going to maybe play my T34 because I want to work on making some more credits uh, because the next Centurion is about uh, 3 million something and uh, I've got about what two right now and then I'm also looking at getting the tier 10 American Heavy which is like 6 million so yeah that's the thing. I mean, you can convert XP with gold. You can even get credits. You can convert gold into credits, but the exchange rate, I think, is terrible, so I never do that, and I don't recommend anybody really ever use gold uh, to convert into credits. All right, so this is a standard battle, T-34. They've got three pieces of artillery, which means nothing out of the ordinary, but we want to fight more so in the the city area here for cover. I think I'm gonna go on this side because there seems to be a lot of backup. Alright, first target sighted. Seems we've got a lot of people bunching up over here though, so maybe I'll uh, go into the middle a little bit more. Or get stuck here. And this is the only problem, if you don't know exactly where you're going in the very beginning of the game, you lose a lot of time. And uh, therefore, miss out on targets, but sometimes... It's, it's a good thing because you can then find all the targets that have been lit by allies and then you flank them and because of that end up with a lot more. T20, which actually what I would want to do with this guy is work on just saying, hey, look at my turret, buddy. Look directly into my turret and that's going right to the back of your turret because we know that he, I don't, well, what does he normally have at most? 90 mil at the highest. Can't really penetrate my, my turret. So, there's that. Alright, so they've got some tanks in the field there. This area is fairly open. I'm going to go ahead and work my way around here. I don't like this because there's a lot up front there that could potentially... Well, I'm looking at the score. We're obviously destroying this team, so... He's down. There's a heavy over there that they'll make short work of him. And we will just carry on. Oh, yes. You fired <laughs> right into the lower Glacius, 349, and a T32 to back me up, and all these guys that are flanking him. You can go ahead and shoot me at this point if you want. Ka-boom. Who's left? We're just capping here now. Two mediums out near our base. I can't get back there in time. Might as well just cap. Ugh. The only thing about this tank is its acceleration and uh, turning is pretty bad. Traverse speed. Not fantastic. Otherwise, still one of the, at least one of my uh, most recommended premium tanks if you are going to get one. If you 
If you want to make credits, it's the tank to get. We only really hit the two targets there, so but you know, still making uh, fifty-four thousand in profit. Still not bad, but this thing could potentially make a lot more. <laughs> I mean, you can get into the hundreds of thousands if you're damaging a lot of tanks. All right. I think I will actually do this here because I just picked this one up. This is the Ram 2, uh, which is a Tier 5 American premium, although it is a Canadian tank. Uh, obviously resembles the Sherman. Wasn't ever really used in combat. I think it was just used for training purposes. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not anything amazing to look at. You can see where there's some weak areas here with these hatches and things like that. But it does have a six pounder gun, which only does about, I think it does five penetration less than the uh, Churchill premium tanks uh, six pounder gun because the six pounder on this, as you can see, if we were to do details on that and then go to this and do details on this. This is a uh, Mark V on the, on the Churchill. So 110 to 180 average penetration versus 105 to 170 on the uh, on the Ram 2. But everything else, I believe, is about the same. This has got a 0.25 rate of fire versus a 0.20. And everything else is, yeah, the same. But uh, the difference, of course, is in, in speed, mostly 28 versus, um, that's the Sherman, 38. And then armor. So there's that. So it's, you know, if you enjoy the six pounder gun, not bad. I got it when it was discounted. I wouldn't have paid full full gold price for it. So, you know, there's that. I think uh, crew. this crew is only at 82. I can obviously, since it is a premium medium, I could go ahead and say, you know, let's take the uh, the Sherman crew and, and put them into the Ram, which actually I might do that. Oh yeah, then we of course were all gifted this thing, which I haven't even played yet, so I don't even... It's a free garage slot, if anything, because it's not exactly something that I'm uh, looking forward to playing. I've got a couple of... I mean, I've got this. This is from beta testing. This was a gift if you were a beta tester, which is a, a premium medium Sherman, which is kind of nice to have. I'm glad I have that. Uh, You know what? Well, let's see. I'm going to actually just go in like this for now, just for the sake of the video. Normally... You know, I'd probably just want to uh, dump my other Sherman or American medium tank crews into that. That way it'll still be 100% and then I'll help to level up some of the abilities on the on those mediums. I'm not sure how far up the medium tree I'm going to go with the American tanks. Um, I wouldn't mind having the, the final tier 10 medium, but uh, getting there is kind of a pain. I wouldn't mind having, you know, the regular Pershing as well as just a collectible. I don't want the T... I'm not into the T-20. I don't really like that tank. In in beta, there was a... Well, it may have even been during launch, too. It was, even after beta, there was a T-23, which was a, a nice tank on the American side, but they replaced it uh, with one of the Pershings, I think. I, I always thought that they should have got rid of the T-20 and replaced that with the T-23... Although the tiers are different, maybe they should have just re-tiered it or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. But uh, I think I'm going to try to grab the high road on this. I seem to have more luck with that usually, which is going to cost me some time. But again, that will allow the rest of the team to light up targets and then we can go ahead and throw some shots out. Not the most accurate tank, uh, better for medium to close range engagements because it uses that six pounder which always has that uh, that large aiming circle. Even though we do have some equipment on it to help out with that. Crew not being 100%, you know, might also be an issue, so. We'll see. I've had a lot of fun with this tank, but uh, there are times where it can be very tier dependent. I mean, what tank isn't really, but uh, there are some that seem to get tiered up better than others, and this one is hit or miss, I feel. 
Whereas with the Churchill, you usually get placed pretty well. So we're dealing with a Sherman there, which we know we can we can pen if we can see him. Although I'm only getting bits of his silhouette. That's a miss. Got to lead that target. I want to be careful. I don't want to overextend too much because I don't have a whole lot of backup near the city. High rate of fire, but low damage, so you gotta be careful. KV-1s can be a pain with this gun. Wanna be careful here, because again, you overextend. Oh, that guy's down below. Hetzer. M4 pulled back in the cover. I'm going to try to do... A movement forward here. Pull up a little bit just to... See if I can light something up. Okay, well, we've got these guys moving forward, so let's go with them. T-15, again, aiming time on this is not fantastic. But he's a light. We hit him once. And this thing really needs to be on uh, flanks. You really need to get in pretty close just to just keep pounding on the mouse button and fire, 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 because the reload speed is amazing. All right, well, this isn't really all that exciting today, although they are mopping us up as well. We might try to go for a capture. wonder where their priest is at. Yeah, it's going to be about worrying about this cap and their artillery typically is back there, but since I'm, if anything, that T-49 should be on the recon, but oh, nuts. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, somebody smacked him. Nice. I'm just firing shots just to fire shots at this point. Ah. As long as they're getting smacked back at base, we should have this. I wonder where their Artie is. It's usually back there somewhere. But we don't want to leave the cap, so that's that. All right, well, not exactly a showcase of what this tank can do. But uh, I'll bring it into one more battle and see if we can get a little bit more action with it. Why not? Just because I think we're only at about the 20-minute mark, so why not? You guys don't mind, right? I'm sure... <laughs> If I could make my videos longer, you'd be fine with that. Although this map still is not a favorite, even with its alterations, I still just don't enjoy it. So, probably not going to be a good example here. We are tiered up pretty well. Let's see here. I'm going to wait and see where everybody rolls out. And then kind of follow because, again, you really just want to support with this one. Support some of the heavies and throw in that extra damage. There's nothing better, though, than grouping up with uh, one or two other people that also have six-pounder guns. And just constantly firing and annoying the heck out of whatever unit you choose to engage All 
Alright, so everybody looks like they're mostly taking the typical city route. Got a couple going down the other way. Alright, go in there. Panzer IV is about to go down there, and he's still up for now, but... Yep, that's it. Overextended there, Chief. Panzer IV, if we could actually hit him. Oh, come on, dirt. Who put you there? Tearing him up a little bit. We also have a Churchill over here, which, of course, again, like I said, has a similar gun, so... Focus firing on whatever he's shooting at. Although he is putting himself into a bad position here to go after these other targets. I'm going to try to keep an eye on those ones out in the distance there. See what I can get. I'm just hitting anything at this point. Valentine. They're working on the Stug, but I don't want to get stuck down there. Hello. KV-1. Hetzer's going to Hetz. I'm getting hit in the track. Top armor there. We need to be careful, though, because somebody's shooting at me, and I don't want to take too many chances. Yeah, let's fall back a little bit, take cover behind this uh, Panzer IV. Matilda Black Prince. We can get him. He's done. Alright, who's still shooting at me? Invisible, uh, what was it? KV-1. Alright. Try to get through to you. There we go. Maybe the side of that turret, maybe. There we go. Cruiser. No, we can destroy him, no problem. There he goes. And you, sir, are toast as well. Well done, team. Well done. Uh, I already used my repair kit, so my engine is out of action. Well, not out of action, but it's damaged, so... Won't be rolling around here. And that's it. That That's a better example of uh, at least this tank's gun. Because it fires so fast, it's just like, alright, who should I shoot at? Just go through all your ammo. Just spam that mouse button. Just let them have it. Aiming for weak spots, of course, if you can. Again, some of those ranges were a little longer. You're having to wait for that reload time and the, uh, well, excuse me, not the reload time, but the uh, the reticle, the aim time, I should say, even though I've got uh, the laying drive. But, you know, the crew only being 80, my gunner is what, 83? That's not helping. So, again, in hindsight, maybe I should have just moved over 100% crew so you could get a better example. But I'll probably throw this guy in a couple other videos it's nothing crazy. It's a tier 5 premium. It's just there for fun, in my opinion, more so than anything else. That's why I bought it. It was like, what, 900 gold or something like that. It's just a good value. You can have fun with it. If you think about it, if you really want to grind credits and you have a, a ton of premiums, if I were to play all my premiums all the time, I would have a lot of credits, but I don't do that. I just don't have the time and, you know, of course, wanting to focus on some of my bigger tanks, leveling them up, getting to the next tiers and whatnot. Uh, makes it kind of difficult. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this dose of World of Tanks. I will see you on the next one.